Hi, I'm Eric Siegel with Kitbash Survival, and today I want to show you some of the knives that I tend to carry with me most often. Now, of course, I'm an avid knife collector, and so what I carry with me does vary quite a bit because I'm always trying stuff out, but these are the knives that I tend to carry with me most often, at least right now as of May 2020. So these are the two knives that I carry on my person daily or in my pockets. So the larger one here is a Spyderco Manix 2, made in the USA, CPM S30V steel with G10 scales. I got this about a year ago and it has been fantastic. I love this thing. It's incredibly durable. I have yet to need to resharpen it and even though I've used it quite a bit, the coating here on the blade really hasn't worn down that much. This thing is just a beast. I love it. It cost about 150 bucks on Amazon, so it's not cheap, but it is worth it in my opinion. And I carry this in my pocket almost every day. The only times I don't carry this are when I'm wearing something like athletic shorts or maybe a suit or some other piece of clothing where I can't easily clip this to the pocket. This knife, on the other hand, I carry with me every single day. I never leave the house without it even when I'm going somewhere that doesn't allow knives, like a concert or an airplane, I still take it with me and I'll either leave it in the car during the concert or I'll put it in my checked baggage and then put it back in my pocket when I get to my final destination. This is the Victorinox Mini Champ and in my opinion this is one of the best EDC knives out there, period. Just in terms of price, quality, versatility, and weight, you can't beat it. In fact, if someone was going to ask me for a recommendation for a good overall EDC knife, this is what I would recommend, the Victorinox Mini Champ. Now, of course, it's not very large, so you're not going to be able to tackle huge tasks with this thing. But then again, that's why I have the Manix 2 in my pocket as well. But just for everyday use, this thing can't be beat. I'm an avid collector of Victorinox knives. I've got well over 100 Victorinox knives in my collection. And I've tried carrying various models in my pockets over the years, and time and time again, I keep coming back to the Mini Champ. What makes it so awesome is that it's just got the perfect combination of tools that are just so handy for everyday stuff. So on this side, we've got the tweezers that pop out like that. On the other side, there's a ballpoint pen, and there's this gray plastic piece that you use to extend the pen and then retract it. It's a very good pen. I use this thing all the time. If it runs out of ink, all you have to do is pull out the cartridge like that and spend a few bucks for a replacement and pop in the replacement. It locks in there and you're good to go. I'll show you an example of writing with a ballpoint pen in just a few minutes. Then we've got the scissors. And this is probably the tool I use the most on the Mini Champ. I think Victorinox makes the best scissors on any pocket knife out there, including Leatherman. Now, I like Leatherman a lot. I'm actually a Leatherman collector as well, so don't think I'm bad-mouthing Leatherman. But, you know, for comparison, here's a Leatherman-style PS. And the scissors are very well made. I actually think the spring mechanism on the Leatherman scissors is better than the spring mechanism on Victorinox, but overall, I just prefer the Victorinox scissors because they allow for a little more precision than the Leatherman scissors. And the reason I use these scissors so much is probably a couple times a week I use the scissors in concert with the nail file and nail cleaner to do my nails, to clip and file my nails. And this combo actually works better for me than a standard nail clipper because these scissors allow for so much precision. Then we've got a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and the screwdriver is magnetic, which comes in really handy when you're working with small screws. I use this all the time. Then there's a bottle opener and a wire stripper. Then we've got the main blade, which is razor sharp out of the box and easily resharpened when it gets dull. On the other side, we've got this thing, which they call a cuticle pusher. So I suppose you could use it to push back your cuticles when you're working on your nails. I've never used it for that. I just use it as a general flat tool for random tasks. The cuticle tool does have one other purpose and that is 
that it can be used when you're using the ballpoint pen. So what I'll do is I'll flip it up like this and then extend the ballpoint pen and then I rest the cuticle tool right here and I've got a really nice way to hold that pen. So if I bring over some paper, you can see that I can write very easily with the ballpoint pen and using that cuticle tool to hold it steady. It's very nice. Up next, we've got a ruler that has both English and metric measurements. And then we've got a flathead screwdriver on the end. And then we've got this odd tool. This is the orange peeler slash scraper. So on the front side, that's a general scraping tool. And then this little angled blade here is used to peel oranges. And it actually does a fantastic job at peeling oranges. I use it all the time. And it does so well because the blade is deep enough to go through the skin of the orange, but not so deep that it'll go into the flesh of the fruit. It's excellent. And it's also great for opening boxes for the same reason, because the blade is deep enough to cut the tape on the top of the box, but not so deep that you risk damaging the contents of the box. It's really good. Then we've got the secondary blade right here, which is a little bit smaller than the first. And then finally, we've got that nail file nail cleaner tool that you've already seen. Pretty cool. Now, Victorinox does have a similar knife to the Mini Champ that you might want to consider, and that is this one. This is the Midnight Mini Champ. They're exactly the same, except that the Midnight Mini Champ trades the tweezers for a flashlight. So if that's important to you, well, you may want to get the Midnight Mini Champ. As for me, I prefer to have the tweezers because my cell phone has a flashlight. So I stuck with the Mini Champ. The Midnight Mini Champ does cost a few bucks more. So where the Mini Champ is around 40 bucks right now, I believe the Midnight Mini Champ is around maybe $44. Not much of a difference, but it is just a little more expensive. Now there's another Victorinox knife that I sometimes carry with me, although it's usually kept in the center console of either my car or my truck. And that is the big brother to the Mini Champ, which is of course the Victorinox Swiss Champ. So the Swiss Champ is sort of the iconic Swiss Army knife. It's what comes to mind when most people think of a Swiss Army knife, and for good reason. They've been making it forever. The construction and build quality is rock solid, and it's got so many cool tools on it. Now, they do make some variations on the Swiss Champ, like the Cyber Tool or the much larger Swiss Champ XAVT and some others. One of these days, I'll do a video just on Swiss Army knives, and I'll show you some of the really cool pieces that I have in my collection. But the Swiss Champ is the one that I keep on or near me most of the time. The Swiss Champ has 33 different functions according to Victorinox. And as of May 2020, these run about 60 bucks on Amazon, which really isn't so bad when you consider the quality and the features included. So I'll go ahead and show you the tools on the Swiss Champ, but keep in mind that I might miss one or two functions along the way, just because some of them are fairly subtle and some of these pieces have more than one purpose. If you want a detailed list of all the features, you can find it on the Victorinox website. So first up, we've got the two blades. We've got the larger blade right here. And then on the other side is the smaller blade. Each blade features a hollow grind, which makes it great for slicing and it's razor sharp out of the box. The hollow grind does dull fairly easily compared to other grinds, but the good news is that it's also very easy to resharpen these blades. And then next we've got this file tool, which is four tools in one. It's a nail file and nail cleaner, and then a metal saw and a metal file. Then next to that, we've got the wood saw, and the Victorinox wood saw is actually very good, excellent in fact. Now obviously because of its size, you're not gonna be sawing down a big tree, but for sawing small branches and or notch work, this does a fantastic job. Then we've got a multi-tool here. It's got a metric ruler on one side with centimeters. Then we've got inches on the other side. This is a fish scaler. And then right here is a fish hook remover. Next to that, we've got those great Victorinox scissors. And these are the larger scissors that they put on their larger knives. Excellent. And then we've got the pliers, a little pair of pliers. 
and it's also got a crimping tool and a wire cutting tool as well. Then we've got a magnifying glass, always good to have. Then there's a Phillips head screwdriver. Then we've got the can opener that has a small flathead screwdriver on the end. And then we've got the bottle opener and it's got a larger flathead screwdriver on the end and a wire stripping tool. On the other side, we've got this multi-purpose tool. This is a reamer, a punch, and a sewing awl. Then we've got the multi-purpose hook or parcel hook, kind of neat. Then we've got a small flathead screwdriver. And then we've got this little chisel tool, kind of cool. And then we've got the corkscrew and wrapped up in the corkscrew is a very small flathead screwdriver. I use that all the time. And then right here, there's a little needle. How cool is that? And it fits right in there. Then we've got a key ring on this end, which they count as a tool. Then there's the toothpick. tweezers, and then finally the pressurized ballpoint pen. So yeah, the Victorinox Swiss Champ, it's a great knife. Victorinox makes tons of different variations of their knives to try to satisfy every need and preference out there, and I own most of them and I love them, but time and time again over the years, the Swiss Champ has been the one that I use the most after the Mini Champ, of course. So as an avid Swiss Army knife collector, if someone was to come to me and say, hey, where should I start if I want to get into Swiss Army knives? I would say, well, get the Mini Champ first, and then after that, get the Swiss Champ, and then go from there. Here's the last EDC tool that I want to show you, and this is what I carry in my laptop bag every day. My day job involves computers, and so I have a laptop bag full of all sorts of tech gear. And I also like to carry a multi-tool with me, and lately, this is what I've been carrying. It's a Leatherman, of course, but the specific model is the Leatherman Free P4. The Free Series is a relatively new series from Leatherman, and the whole angle of the Free Series is that the tools are able to be operated with one hand. So you can open it up with one hand like that, and you can also close it with one hand like that. And the same goes for all the auxiliary tools knife there or the scissors. Now this is not the first Leatherman I've carried in my laptop bag. I used to carry a Charge Plus. I've actually got that right here. And the Charge Plus is very, very cool. And I love this thing a lot. But, you know, I like to try different things from time to time and so the P4 is what I'm carrying nowadays. As I said, I do collect Leatherman, so you know I have the Charge Plus and the Rev and the Surge and the Wave and all that stuff, but lately I've been carrying the P4. Now they do have other members in the free product line. There's the P4, which is the largest one. It costs about $125 on Amazon as of May 2020. Then they've got a smaller version called the P2. Then they've got sort of a large locking blade multi-tool that's called the K-Series. So this is the K4. And again, everything can be operated with one hand. Let's see if I can get the scissors out. Here we go. So that's the K4. And then there's a smaller version called the K2. This is the black finish version. And then there's also sort of a small pocket knife. This one's the T4, which is the larger of the two. And again, it's all meant to be operated with a single hand. And then there's the smallest version, which is the T2. So there's the P4, the P2, the K4, the K2, and then the T4 and the T2. But what I carry on a daily basis now in my computer bag is the P4. 
So there's the pliers that I already showed you, just like any good Leatherman should have. And it does have the replaceable blades for the wire cutters. And then it's got a knife blade there, a large knife. The scissors that I already showed you. Then it's got a saw right there. Then it's got this blade, which is kind of a serrated Tonto blade. And then in the middle, there's a file right there. And then we've got like a flathead screwdriver slash chisel, a smaller screwdriver and an awl, and then the can opener. And then on this side, there's a Phillips head screwdriver and then a large flathead screwdriver. So yeah, this is the Leatherman Free P4. And like I said, it's about 125 bucks or so on Amazon, at least right now as of May 2020. All right, so that does it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm Eric Siegel, this is Kitbash Survival, and I'll see you next time.